First, my friend, I want to thank you for your prayers. You know, recently we lost our entire mailing list of email addresses from the past 15 years, and I just want you to know everything's been restored and we're literally better than before. I'll be telling the whole story next week. You'll enjoy that. Uh, watch for it. In the Bible, it says the truth will make you free in John 8, 32. What truth? Well, the truth of God, not our own truth. It, see, so often we hold to what we believe is right, and we set and anchor our whole life to that, and maybe it is not right. Maybe it will imprison us in... Uh, <laughs> That that we don't want, and uh, that that is not freeing to allow us to express everything that we could if we followed a higher truth. Now, many of us have wondered what the truth is that will set us free. When you realize that God is the one presence and the one power in your life, and in the world, you know the truth. And the truth sets you free. It is a freedom from limiting beliefs. Now, limiting beliefs are uh, so much in our human minds. Uh, it accumulates over a lifetime, year by year. Unwanted habits, uh, negative depressed, unhappy states of consciousness. Anything or any relationship or any situation that makes you less than you are meant to be does not belong to you. To know this truth is a higher truth, and it sets you free. The truth that you have within you the power given to you by God in the beginning and today to live your life successfully and happily or to recreate your life, to start anew, to decide this day is a new day and I'm going to live it with God, following God, the truth will set me free from that that has hindered me or kept me down to a level less than I could and should be. Know the truth and know who you are. Know what you are and what you are meant to be. My friend, you are God's child created in God's image, created in God's likeness. And you are meant to be in charge of yourself and of your world. You're one with God's light, love, and peace, and joy. You are free as you know the truth. So this day, I pray that you do know the truth, that you take time to just settle in a chair and close your eyes and go to God and say, not my truth, but yours be done.